Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is, in my opinion, the hardest IGCSE indices question, at least I've ever seen. It's a real tricky question, so give it a go and then watch for the solution. And if you do like this content, please do like the video, that would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe for more IGCSE and GCSE content. For example, I've got a um, video where I go through the whole IGCSE with examples and exam questions. Okay, let's get into this question. What makes this question really hard is the fact that you've got um, threes raised to a power and you've got two uh, raised to a power. And then you've also got this 18 and this 12 down the bottom. Now, 18 has prime factors of 2 and 3 and 3. So we can split that up into 2s and 3s, which is going to be helpful. So let's rewrite this using twos and threes as our bases. So 18 is two times by uh, three squared, and that's to the power of four n. And we've also got two here, well that's three n squared minus 18 n. And then here I've got three, and that's two minus eight n. And on the bottom, I have 12 squared, and 12 as prime factors is 2 and, f uh, sorry, 2 and 6, and 2 and 3. So I could write that as 2 squared times 3, all squared, and all of this is equal to m, which we're told is 2. Okay, let's get rid of the denominator. I don't like having denominators, so I can multiply that to this side, like that. And what will that give us? Well, at the moment, I've got 2 squared squared, so that's 2 to the 4. And when I bring it up here and times it by 2 to the 1, I'm going to get 2 to the 5. And I've also got 3 squared, so when I multiply it along there, I'm going to get 3 squared on this side. Okay, great. I've got rid of the denominator. And I'm going to expand out this bracket here, because I've got 2 to the 4n, and I've got 3 squared to the 4n, which becomes 3 to the 8n. And here I've got 2 to the 3n squared minus 18n, and then I have 3 to the 2 minus 8n. Okay. And now what I can do is I can uh, simplify the uh, twos on this side, collect those, and the threes on this side, collect those. So what is that going to give us? Let's just write this out again. And let's look at the twos. When I, I'm multiplying these twos together so the powers add, so I'm going to get 2 to the 3n squared, and then 4n minus 18n is minus 14n. And the threes, again, when I multiply them, the powers add. So I get 8n plus 2 minus 8n. So that's just plus 2. So it's just 3 squared. Okay, great. Next thing I could do is I have 3 squared on both sides. So I could divide 3 by 3 squared on both sides. And now I've got 2 to the something is equal to 2 to the something. Well, that means that these somethings must be the same. So I can write over here that 5 must equal 3n squared minus 14n. I can set that equal to 0. And I can solve that quadratic by factorizing. So it's going to be a 3n and an n. And my factors are... Um, need to multiply to make 5. So I'm going to want minus 5 over here because that's going to make minus 15 and then plus 1 here and that will make minus 14 in the middle and I factorize that perfectly. So that tells me that either 3n plus 1 equals 0 or n minus 5 equals 0. So therefore 3n equals minus 1 so n equals minus a third or n is equal to 5. And those are the values of n for which this question works. So there you have it. That is indices done. What a question that was. 
Subscribe, like, and share. Bye for now.